This is Jesse Oldman, a typical college student. And like a normal college student, are her student loan bills. And this one is about $5,000 more than it was when I took it out. <laughs> how long will it be until Jesse pays these loans back? And it has interest. Um, so how long do you think it would take somebody to pay off over $100,000? <laughs> now, there are many factors that go into a loan, but we can estimate that at a yearly interest rate of 6% over a five-year period, that Jesse would pay nearly $2,000 a month with her total debt being close to $120,000. And this isn't completely abnormal either. In the United States, there's more than $1.3 trillion in unresolved student loan debt. And it can have a very serious effect on the individual student going into the workplace. Student loans would presumably, would uh, decrease um, the number of uh, graduates who start their own business. The amount of people under the age of 30 who own a private business has reached a 24-year low. But George Georgiadis, an assistant professor at Boston University's School of Economics, says it goes even further. And it also reduces the number of people who want to go into public interest jobs. Uh, and again, this is not good because these public interest, uh, public interest jobs help um, the usually the, the more poor segments of society. But there is always a flip side when it comes to economics. Now, at one macro level, you'd say, yeah, but if you didn't have the debt, you wouldn't have the education, you wouldn't have the uh, skills, you wouldn't have these kind of earnings, and you want to eat your cake and have it. This is John R. Harris, a professor of economics at BU and a pioneer in the field of developmental economics. Remember, your debt is somebody else's asset. So you borrow from somebody you have to pay, but there's someone that's receiving the repayment and the, uh, and the interest on that. What Professor Harris is talking about is a transfer of funds. It can be complicated, so let's break it down. Say a student takes out a loan. With the principal and the interest, let's say that loan adds up to $100,000. Through the financial sector, your money could be split into a number of different avenues. This could be an investment in new technology, in housing, in other businesses, or back into education for the next generation, thus potentially growing the economy. So your loan might not be all bad. But still, it is important to weigh your investment before taking a loan. Standard universities tend to still be a good investment. But Kevin Lang, a labor economist at BU, says the opposite might be true when it comes to for-profit universities. Uh, let's at the other extreme, uh, a for-profit institution where they've taken on significant debt to get a uh, culinary certificate, uh, that's going to be much more pr problematic. Many of these for-profit universities are under investigation for predatory lending, but at Boston University it seems to be a different story. These loans aren't meant to deceive. In fact, there are financial advisors ready to discuss each student's financial situation. Good morning, College of Communication. This is Bill. How can I help you? This is Bill Taylor, Director of Student Services at BU School of Communication. Right, what am I going to learn in the classroom? What are the connections to the field? What does career services do for me? What are some realistic outcomes that I'm going to get from this program? It is his goal to educate every student about the risks and the rewards of their investment. And then making the decision of saying, all right, now that I have these realistic outcomes kind of on the table and I know what BU's offering as an educational piece, how does that fit in financial aid wise? But even with advisors there to help you along the way, student debt can still be daunting. I kind of like walk around with like this like general, because financial terror is kind of, you know, it's a scary thing. Um, nobody wants to feel massively in debt all the time. There is pending legislation that could help lower student loan rates, but for now, Jesse and many others are hoping for the best because graduation yeah, is just you know, around the corner. Like that's the, the best I can do right now is to hope that I'm going to be able to find a way to be able to pay these bills and eat at the same time. In Boston, I'm Paul Dudley.